why do physicians not check for nutritional deficiencies before recommending the pharmacological solutions or medication? The uh, ADHD is not a uh, nutritionally based disorder, okay, number one. Um, and so uh, the nutritional problems that we have today are with childhood obesity, which in fact, it's taking too many calories in generally. Um, so, uh, and multivites don't really work for uh, um, ADHD. So there's no point in pres uh, prescribing large amounts of multivitamins, et cetera, et cetera. I think a, a well-balanced meal plan is basically all you need. Um, and, uh, but you're dealing with a, uh, a neurobiological disorder, which requires strategies to target that disorder. There are no dietary strategies that really do that. And so the other question is the omega-3 fatty acids, okay? And the evidence is really sparse regarding that. And uh, so generally, um, I haven't been in the habit of prescribing the omega-3s just because I haven't been impressed with the science at all. And so, uh, but that's my bias and some people do. Um, so, uh, but I, I haven't seen anybody uh, sustain uh, compliance with the omega-3s. I just haven't seen it. They, they start, but they usually realize it's not that good.